The White House COVID-19 response team says 31 million Americans have now received booster shots, but the number of eligible adults could expand as early as today. Yeah, so the CDC's advisory panel, they're scheduled to discuss data on Pfizer's booster dose efficacy and safety. Alexander Leslie is live in studio, and a decision is coming after a number of states have already given the go-ahead for most adults to receive the boosters. Yeah, both Massachusetts and Rhode Island leaders have encouraged booster shots for all adults, given that both states have high transmission of COVID-19. And under CDC guidance, that still makes fully vaccinated adults eligible based on when they got their last dose. Now, Pfizer or Moderna recipients, they can get a booster after six months after that last dose. Pfizer did originally request boosters for all adults, but in September, the FDA only signed off on a limited population of high-risk people to get them. The, the New York Times reports the FDA is expected to rule this week without consulting its own advisory panel. In a White House COVID response briefing yesterday, CDC Director Rochelle Walensky said in recent weeks, additional data reinforced the importance of boosters for people at higher risk of severe disease. When we compare rates of COVID-19 disease between those who are vaccinated with two doses and those who have received a booster dose, the rate of disease is markedly lower for those who received their booster shot demonstrating our boosters are working. So what about the other vaccines? Moderna also resubmitted its application to the FDA to approve boosters for all adults. Any adult, though, regardless of risk level, can get a J&J &J booster two months after their shot. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. CDC data shows 71% of the U.S. is considered to have high transmission of COVID-19. And in recent days, more states have okayed all fully vaccinated adults to get the booster shot. Yeah, and 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie is joining us. Alex, this is coming as federal regulators are expected to approve Pfizer's request to make its booster shot available to anyone 18 and older as soon as today. Yeah, Danielle, the New York Times reports the FDA is expected to rule this week without consulting its own advisory panel. This could happen sometime this morning since the CDC's advisory panel is scheduled to discuss data on Pfizer's booster dose efficacy and safety at some point later today. Several states, though, have already gone ahead and brought in access to booster shots ahead of an OK from federal regulators. However, earlier this week, I reported the director of Rhode Island Department of Health said she strongly encouraged boosters for all adults. And yesterday, Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker's office said all residents over 18 are eligible to sign up for a booster given the timing of their last shot. Now, Fall River Mayor Paul Coogan said he supports this move, but he also wants to encourage first doses as well. Um, I think we're around 61% one shot and 55% fully vaccinated. Obviously, it's probably about 20 points from where we'd like to be, but we're going to keep fighting to try to get everybody to get vaccinated. According to the White House COVID response team, 31 million Americans have received a booster shot so far. Meanwhile, about 10% of kids 5 to 11 have received one shot 10 days since that age group became eligible. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.